July 1, it's quarter after 5 p.m. Okay, where are we going to go with this zucchini? Is, I think, to dice up some of these canned Roma Plum Tomatoes. Just whatever little water was left over from when I made the original zucchini. I pour it out of this can. What I bought was bean sprouts. So I'm going to mix these bean sprouts in with the tomatoes. So we want to begin with a chop. We can keep it chunky. Okay, that's a good amount of chunky tomato. We're going to let that simmer. Then we're going to put some more, we're just going to go a little burgundy wine. And uh, then we're going to throw in our bean sprouts. So we'll just let that go. July 1, 20 after 5, camera's off. So we're going to go with a really good simmer. At this point, a good splash of wine, not too much. About a half a glass. Get the wine mixed in. This is gonna have to go 50 minutes to cook down this this red burgundy. That's Carlo Rossi red burgundy. No salt. I don't use a lot of salt. I'm an old guy. I'm not all that active. But I could burn up all that salt. I have enough problems with the carbohydrates building up in me because I'm not active. So we'll cover to bring up to a simmer. It's like 5.32, it's p.m. July 1, camera's off. So let's check on our simmer. It's quarter to six, it's p.m. July 1. We've got our bean sprouts soaking in tap water, just to uh, do a quick rinse on them. So we got a really delicious simmer going here. 
and that's really good. That wine is already cooked in, and it was only a small amount. I usually use more. Okay, so now we pull our bean spray, bean sprouts out of the tap water. We're gonna go let the, let these go their merry way. I mean, this uh, this recipe mostly was a string bean. I would follow up with a string bean. So uh, the string beans were ugly at the supermarket. So I didn't buy them. Okay, camera's off. We'll be back in a little while. 